Hey, I'm Mitchell Reich at CEO of June Group. I'm here with Lauren Newman of Meredith at the Ad Club Women Now Conference in beautiful Tribeca, New York City. Lovely to have you. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Tell us about your role at Meredith. So I am the president of the beauty category. So I oversee all brands, all platforms for beauty and CPG advertisers. So how much of it is digital and how much of it is integrated or cross-platform? So my team is cross-platform and integrated, mm -hmm. um, but you know, beauty is a little bit less progressive in its digital innovation. So we've been pushing our advertisers to move in that direction, um, but it's about 70-30 in terms of their traditional marketing model versus the new digital innovation. Now, correct me, are, are there more women in fashion, you think, than in other parts of digital publishing? Uh, yes and no. Um, certainly at the mid-level, yes. At leadership level, you'd be surprised to know that most of the CEOs of the major beauty companies are still men. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And what do we all have to collectively do to change that? I mean, I think women need to ask for the job. Um, you know, they need to push themselves forward. I think women need to find a sponsor within their own organization who's really going to bring them up to the top and prove their worth, sometimes a little bit more than their male counterparts. Um, but they certainly need to make it known that they want the job um, and find the right trajectory to get there. Is that what you've done in your career? It is. Yeah, I've told every single one of my male bosses that your job's the one I want. Nice. That must make them feel pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting conversation. I think you, you figure out the ones that are excited to hear that and want to see you get there. And mm -hmm. then you also see the ones who are threatened by it. And you have to figure out which one it is that you need to play to. And so you have this aspirational role, Lauren, and you've accomplished so much in your career. What would you say to someone younger who's just facing that for the first time and maybe not having a great experience? Some young lady who you know, is ambitious but doesn't really know how to challenge power like that. Yeah, I think you have to be confident in your conviction. I think you have to really understand where it is you want to be and why. Um, do you want to be in the C-suite just for the title itself or is there something that you feel like you bring a value to that position that you want to underscore? And I think so having that true point of view that you can articulate to the powers that be is going to make all the difference. So you're coming to them, if I'm hearing you correctly, as an individual, not as a woman. I'm mm -hmm. not getting this because of my gender. Correct. I deserve it for X, Y, and Z. Yes, 100%. I mean, you have to be strategic. You have to understand the bottom line. You have to know how to deliver results, period, end of story, whether you're male or female. But I think also having a distinct point of view on what you're going to bring to that office is really important. And what advice do you have when it goes wrong? So you, you make a mistake. You don't mm -hmm. do it so well. You know, I, I think I hear all the time that women feel like they're unfairly judged. They're mm -hmm. seen, if a man behaved that way, it would be seen as ambitious. Women are so, sometimes seen as um, being pushy. Or how, how, do, yeah. how do you deal with all that? Well, I think if you actually make a mistake, admit it, and mm -hmm. talk about how you're going to course correct for the future, it's OK to own up to it. In fact, most people expect that you will. Um, but I also think be unapologetic about being pushy. I certainly have a reputation of being a change agent and pushing an organization in a direction that they may or may not feel comfortable with. And I'm unapologetic for it because I know it's the right way forward. So last question for you. What is most exciting about 2018 and going into 2019? I mean, I think it's the year of the woman, right? So I hope that there's a lot more female advancement in 2018, a lot more women at Fortune 500 companies, and hopefully our first female president in a couple of years. That would be great. Hey, Laura, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right.